Sarı. Hey, what to do, everybody? It's your man, Dame DNYDC. Man, it's another Monday, a blessed Monday, and we're back for part two. You know, if you missed last week's conversation with tonight's incredible guest, you know, you need to go back, rewind, watch the replay of last week so you can get caught up with what's going on this week because, you know, the sister's amazing, she's powerful, you know, and it's a blessing, you know, to be able to share her story. And I'm going to go ahead and stop talking. I'm just going to bring her right back, you know, to the second mic tonight, you know, again, you know, we're, we're blessed with, you know, the smile, make Megan Stewart, you know, last week, Megan, you know, just blown away. I, I can't even say enough. You know, I was tingling and I was excited. I was educated. You know, your story and, and your development has been, you know, huge. Right. And there was a couple of things that I did want to go back and really highlight that we really didn't talk about, you know, we talked, we didn't talk about some symptoms, you know, that, that people, you know, who are, are dealing with, you know, PCOS. Um, and, you know, with this being September, we want to continue the conversation. I want our men and our other sisters who may not actually be experiencing it, but maybe you're dealing with someone that maybe has it, but they didn't know or is not aware uh, that's dealing with it, you know, can educate them as well. So, you know, if you would, if you can maybe take us through, you know, I don't know, how would someone know if they had PCOS, um, what those symptoms may look like or what they are. And really, I think one of the things too, I think that's important to really highlight, you know, are there triggers uh, mm -hmm. to PCOS? Oh, you, hmm, <laughs> I got the, hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm going to step back and let you talk for a minute. Yeah, absolutely. So, oh man, PCOS. <laughs> Where do I begin, right? So, <laughs> so again, a lot of the a lot of women don't get diagnosed until it they try to have children, um, and they mm. find out that it's an infertility issue, um, yeah. which is caused by PCOS. Um, uh, a lot of the other symptoms. The key thing about PCOS is that it's going to vary from woman to woman. So, like myself and another woman could be standing next to each other, but our PCOS looks different, completely mm -hmm. different. Like you can have one or two of the symptoms, or you could have all of the symptoms and still be considered having PCOS. That's why it's so difficult to, at least that's what I believe, why it's so difficult to um, diagnose and to treat because okay. there is no cure. Mm -hmm. um, you can only treat the symptoms by themselves. So like since it is a endocrine disorder and it's tricking your body into believing you're diabetic, um, mm -hmm. they most medical professionals will put you on metformin, which is a diabetic drug. Yeah. Um, also, another thing that I personally believe that masks symptoms, they'll say that it it helps with symptoms, but I believe that it's masking symptoms, birth control pills. Um, mm -hmm. That's like the number one thing when, when a woman or when a girl an adolescent starts their menstrual cycle, you go to the OBGYN and they're like, <clears throat> Okay, let's do birth control pills. Right. No, <laughs> <laughs> because you could have PCOS and you it's masking all of the symptoms. Wow. Um, wow. Or I've even heard that some women it triggers, as you said, it can trigger some of the symptoms um, in PCOS. It, there are like what 60 different types of birth control pills out there, yeah. combinations. And mm -hmm. so you it, you have to go on yourself, right? You have to know, and you you and your medical professional need to know what is going to help you. Um, I remember when they first put me on birth control pills, it caused me to gain weight. So obviously that pill did not help me. <laughs> so it just takes that, you know, that right, um, just with any drug, right? It takes that right uh, combination to figure out what will work with for you. Um, mm -hmm. They also will do progesterone. Um, which is a, a, a female hormone, hormone. right? Mm -hmm. They actually, I didn't have a cycle until 16 and they put me on progesterone to start my cycle. And I just remember that it was like, it was, it 
oh, that was a horrible cycle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it, was, wow. it was like four months long. Like, what is happening? And I, oh, for real? My yeah, goodness. Like, yeah. And we were in the at the time we were living in Seattle and my we're from Boston. So mm-hmm. we were flying. My mom and I were flying back and forth to Boston. And I just remember every time I'd go to Boston in that four months, my grandmother would look at me and she'd be like, What? where is the color like you have no color in your face or oh, anywhere man. else like you are just drained yeah so that's that's also um some women with pcos they experience no menstrual cycles and some women with pcos experience horrible menstrual cycles right so mm. kind of varies right mm. and so those are symptoms acne of course growing up adolescence into puberty mm-hmm you're going to have acne. So that I think that's where that one medical professional that had told my mom that it was just puberty. I think that's mm-hmm. where it mm-hmm. from. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you are 21 through 50 and you're just, you know, yeah. crippled and cystic acne, like, yeah. no, there's something wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then weight gain. Weight gain's the, well, that's the worst one, right? Yeah, yeah. I can imagine it's got to be <laughs> Got to be the worst, the hardest one to deal with. Probably, the hardest one to, it is. It is hard to deal with, but also that comes with loving yourself, right? Yeah. Um, and I believe, I strongly believe, again, PCOS. A symptom of PCOS is depression and anxiety, but I also mm. think it's also fueled by outside sources as well. One yeah. being the lack of support for women with PCOS, and two yeah. being just media in general when you look at a magazine cover when you're looking mm. at instagram models when you're right you're like oh i need to look like that but exactly in all actuality just be you just um, be you just be you yeah. <laughs> you're beautiful and i, and out. And I, I could <laughs> not i could not have said that any better because i you know we, we we live in a world where we are always constantly comparing ourselves to the visual aspect right. And I've said before, I think, well, it's just because that's what you see don't mean it's healthy and don't mean that it look good, right? Yeah. And I, I just think you have to, uh, like you said, love yourself. But I think it really, not even I think, I know it comes from having or being rooted in a strong support system. Right. Um, and, you know, uh, I I could not imagine one day going by without me telling my daughter how beautiful she is, <laughs> how magnificent she is, you know. And I think that that comes from that community. And like I said, it seems like you've had that that community support. I did. Um, and, and that's important, you know, for you to be able to, you know, what we see when we see you, you know, that strength, you know, that beauty, that elegance, that, that will. Um, and I, and it's important. And I, and I'm hoping that our men and women out here, you know, go out there and be supportive. You know, you may, you may never know. And it's not just with PCOS, you know, we're talking about yeah. it because it is this month, right. you know, it's an important, but in general, you never know, what those acts of kindness and those words of support can mean for someone in that moment in their life and how important that is. So I'm going to get off the soapbox on no, that one. No, you're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean that in all, in, in all sincerity. But, yeah. you know, I really wanted to highlight PCOS because it is important. It is the month. You know, September is the month. And I'm you know, we're here with the second part. But there's also, I think, through your strength and your resilience, there's all of these other great things. You mentioned it briefly in the you know first part of the episode. You know about some other businesses that you're bringing. We're going to talk about those two, <laughs> but I want to talk about the ones that you know you're working on that that I've seen you also uh, <laughs> out and about in the community. You know, uh, you do the, the joyous moments. You know, your photo mm-hmm. booth, which you know you take great pictures. We've been at different events with you. Your you and, and your cohort. <laughs> My troublemaker. My, you're pretty right. Your troublemaker, my buddy, though, we get into trouble together. Uh, we, we always have a good time. And then you also have, you know, Queen Divine Hair Care. And I want you, if you could, you know, just take take some time and just talk about both. Because I think it's important. Um, you know, I don't know. And, I, and I, I'm saying this, you know, from everything that you've gone through. Were these uh, thoughts or, or things that you wanted to do? Or were they kind of from through your challenge? or challenges with PCOS? Yeah, so the photo booth, not so much. Um, the photo booth was literally, <laughs> again, I've been, um, I not just, I can't say I'm new anymore, but I am newer to Virginia. Mm-hmm. And um, I moved here in 2017, right before, you know, right before the pandemic. And literally when I moved, it was like, I moved by myself. There, I had no family, no friends. And what can I do to 
make friends. And so the the photo booth was literally like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go out and I'm going to make some friends and okay. have some fun too. So that that's where the photo booth came in. And it just so happens that after about I think it was after about a year of me moving here. My my girlfriend Aaliyah was. She called me. She's from Seattle as well. She mm -hmm. called me and she was like, "You're in DC. You're in the DC area, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "You coming to visit?" She's like, "No, I'm coming to move." <laughs> like, oh, wow. okay, come on, come on, let's do this. Let's do this together. <laughs> so, it. of course, bringing her into that as well she was nice. Um, she's she's. Yeah, she's something. She's yeah, she's something. She's nothing but fun. Yeah, she is. She's always a great time. <laughs> I right. have a good time with her. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was just telling her the other day that I'm gonna have to get you one of those kid um like leashes. Yeah. Like, oh, those kid leashes anytime we go out. Like just, just stay close, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's she's the fun, loving one. Um yes. so that's where that started, and it's just kind of grown, right? Like we we have traveled um all the way to North Carolina to do events. Um, I have family in Boston that's like, hey, come up and do events here. So it's just just been fun on that one. Um, Queen Divine was actually, it, it was kind of something that came out of my PCOS um, mm -hmm. journey, just mm -hmm. because PCOS also causes, can cause other skin issues like psoriasis or eczema. Yeah. Um, and it just so happened that I, had psoriasis but it was in my scalp it was like on oh, wow. in my hair um mm. so it was like what can i do to help that symptom and then mm. after talking with my mom we of course we moved a couple of times and we kept throwing out like all of these different shampoos and conditioners that we used about this much and the bottles were had that much more left in and we were it was driving us crazy we were like mm. why can't we find hair care for our hair type that will, you know, we can use a whole bottle, mm -hmm. <laughs> not right. feel like it's not working anymore. And so um, my aunt happens to be a hairdresser and has been for about 40 years in, in Boston. Mm -hmm. And so after talking with her, uh, I realized that most hair care lines that you see when you go to buy um, on the shelf in the store, mm -hmm. it's the exact same product. It's just got their brand name on it right like oh, they wow. literally went to the same manufacturer and bought the same product and, and just, just put their name. Mm -hmm. wow so at that point it was like no i can't keep doing this like we've mm -hmm. thousands of dollars in this closet for no reason <laughs> <laughs> so I, I researched a couple of manufacturers myself and i found a manufacturer that allows i i not I don't know science. <laughs> I don't know how to create <laughs> shampoo or conditioners. So they actually had a base shampoo and conditioner lines, right? And then mm -hmm. you take those and you add the ingredients that you want okay. to add. Okay. And so at that point, I came up with my um, uh, satin silk line, which is the line that has tea tree oil, peppermint oil, and lavender oil. And mm -hmm. all those are things that help with psoriasis. Okay. So. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. And then my mom was like, well, I need something for moisture. So we talked to my aunt and my aunt was like, you need X, Y, and Z for moisture. So yeah. we took their, again, their baseline and added in um, the things that we wanted. And we came up with the silver touch line. Oh, wow. um, it's funny because once when we got the products and we started using them before, you know, t telling anybody that we had created these things, um, we switched. <laughs> My mom was like, oh, I like the tingly feeling oh. of the satin silk line. And I was like, oh, I like the moisture feeling of the silver touch line. Like, can we, let's just switch. And she was like, okay. Um, so I actually use uh, silver touch every wash day. And okay. then satin silk I'll use once a month to help with any sort of um, scalp issues. But it's just been... Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't pushed it as much as I should. I've given it out to a lot of friends and family and they're everybody, even my aunt, um, who's a hairdresser. She's like, I really like this. Mm -hmm. um, I use this in the shop. Um, but my other friends are like, this is amazing. My curls come out amazing. So it's really nice to hear those things, but I haven't done anything with it. Actually, yeah. the, the expo, the Virginia Black Business mm -hmm. Expo last um, last month was like the first time I ever did anything with really? it. Really? <laughs> right. really? And it was, people were at the booth and they were like, "Woo, this is really nice. It smells nice. Can't wait to try it. So 
we'll see. <laughs> well, come on, Megan. We got to get this thing popping. I mean, right. look, you better get on it, sis. What are you waiting for? I don't know. <laughs> get a, you know, get, get out there. I mean, I, that that is awesome to hear. See, I learned something new. Did not even know. Wow. I mean, that that's that's amazing. And you know, continue success in those in those areas. You know, as well as your PCOS awareness. Um, but you know, I. I I see, you know, you're thriving, right? And, mm -hmm. and you know, you're doing well. And I, I'm not going to let you leave here. You know, you had <laughs> talked about two two or three additional things in the first episode. I'm like, what and, am I doing to myself? <laughs> and, right, and look, I don't know. Look, I, I don't want to say that you're a glutton for punishment. But <laughs> right. you're but but I, I, I refer it to as, okay, yeah, maybe a little bit. But I, I will refer to it, though, as, you know, talent is divine. And, you know, you're just a talented individual and you're, and you're very knowledgeable and, and looks like you're, you're okay with taking risk here and there, right? Because yeah. it I is pretty, risky, right? Yeah, right, <laughs> right. You, you got to put yourself out there, you know. Right. But if you could, you know, like, let's not walk away here and like, leave everybody hanging. Like, can you maybe share a tidbit or two about, yeah, oh, the, well, look, let me set back. Let me, <laughs> let me give you this solo low out, layout and you go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, my aunt has given permission to tell people what the okay. next the next business is so um it's a it's a joint business with my aunt okay. um i i'm looking outside right now and i can see it sitting out there my dad's been working on it so my dad's very handy um we picked up a trailer okay. and we are remodeling it to be a um mobile bar so we're starting a mobile bar trailer <laughs> it's I called love twisted it. trailers <laughs> i love it I love it's, it. it's amazing because when we were at the expo, my mm -hmm. aunt and I walked around and I was like, well, I have an idea and I need you to just run with it with me. And she was like, mm -hmm. okay, we met with 5011 um, yep. and we are going to make a package that specifically features um, with the, with the trailer that specifically features her wine. So I'm love excited it. about that. Um, I'm hoping to meet with, with um, uh, the gin um, guy. Oh, uh, ingenious. Uh, in yeah, okay. yep. hoping to meet with him to talk with him as well i'd like to just keep it local like right the things that yeah, we yeah. offer in the trailer i'd like to keep it local folks <laughs> i love i love the idea and first of all i know it will be a success because look let's just uh, i know i know so many people that you know <laughs> right and, man can i take in they party and i tell you oh right here, God, if you put something on wheels that can show up man <laughs> There Look, is. It, it's a problem. There's a problem already. I see it, but it's it's a great problem. And you know, from your mouth to God's ears, you know, this plan will you know take fruition and be a success. And look, just let me know. You know, when y'all getting down, because you know I'm showing up. I'm always for a party. I'm always ready for a party. We can get it in. We um, would definitely but, will let you know. <laughs> please, please do. So, you know, as we move forward, and I, and I, I want to come back to PCOS. You know. As the month is, is moving forward and closing out, like, are, are you going to be on the road any or are you going to be places? Oh, OK. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to take that as a yes. But, I, I, you know, share where you're going to be at and, and, you know, where people maybe can find you to get more information and really come out and support you and the cause, you know, and your mission. I really want people to, to support you and what you're doing. So if you have some dates or things that's going on, please go ahead and share. Yeah, absolutely. So September, I tell family and friends all the time, do not contact me in September because <laughs> for anything, because that's my crazy month. Um, it is National PCOS Awareness Month. Um, every, let's see, in 2019, we started um, what we're calling PCOS Con. And we are making it every other year. So this year happens to be the first year that we are back, but we are back in person okay. um so 2019 we were in person in dc and then following year we are following year after that we were in um virtual because of the pandemic and then this year we are back in person and we i really when we did it in dc we had about we had a good a number of people come but the main complaint was that people had to travel from all over the world to get mm. to the location. So I really wanted to do something this year that was smaller because that one was a three day event. Um, I wanted to go smaller and I wanted to be able to spread it across the US. So we are doing three events this year. The first one, um, September 9th in New York um, at um, St. John's University. 
And then the second one is September 16th in Houston um, mm-hmm. at the Emancipation Center. And then the third one is September 23rd um, in L.A. at, oh, man, it's at one of the colleges um, in L.A. And it's, since this is since we're already airing this um, in the month of September, I can go ahead and say, because we don't plan on announcing this for a little bit, but um, we are going to do another virtual event um, right. September 30th. Um, virtually all day. Right. And so really at each one of the locations, one of the main things that I wanted to focus on was bringing in specialists um, and, and, and people from those areas. Like it's, it always crazy to me when I go to a, a location and I learn that people are like, well, there's nobody here. There's no medical professionals here to support mm. us. And I'm like, wait a minute. I know so-and-so medical professional right up right. the street. And I don't even live here. Right. <laughs> right? Like, what do you mean? So I really wanted to focus on medical professionals that were in the in each area so that they can showcase the things that they do. Um, because a couple of years ago, we had a we had a feature, a resource on our website that allowed you to type in your zip code and you can Mm -hmm. search for medical professionals in your area. But um, the the application behind that has since gone to a different, has gone a different direction. And so we don't have that feature anymore. Um, We're growing it ourselves. Um, So yeah, having, being able to have those medical professionals sit in a room with people that live in their area is always great. yeah, and then we're we're also ramping up for a couple of other events, not in September, because um, I'll be I'll be exhausted. I, I usually <laughs> am like by the end of September, I just want to hibernate for maybe a month I or know two, that's right. and, then, and then go on about my business. So we're we're planning an actual. Um, in prior years, we've done like a, a New Year's resolution kind of mm-hmm. thing uh, every year because again, PCOS does cause weight gain and it causes some other um, like, you know, weight issues. So we wanted to have some sort of new year's resolution. Let's get back to being active. Let's, let's, right. Let's, let's start eating a little healthier, that type of thing. And we're, we're partnering with um, uh, Kenneth Montesanto and to do um, a fitness kind of thing, a virtual fitness thing. So we're excited about that because in prior awesome. years we've done the same, but we never had an actual personal trainer come in and h- hold people accountable for the things that they were doing. We were just giving out participation points. <laughs> I love it. I, <laughs> so I, now I we're going to have some fun. <laughs> I love that, Megan. I mean, it, it's, it's exciting to listen to, um, but I hope that people really get behind you and, and your cause and, and just really support, you know, the things that you're doing, you know, you're really active in our local community, you know, for those who don't know some of the people that she has talked about and mentioned, they're here in the DMV, they're right here mm-hmm. in our own backyard. So kudos, you know, to, to Megan and really using, you know, our resources here because re- we have so much talent. We do. Here in, in this area, it's ridiculous. And I'm just proud to be a, an extension and a portion and a part of that bridge. And, you know, we, we making things happen down here, y'all. And, you know, this, this lovely young woman, man, it is really at the core of it with everything that she's doing. So continue success, you know, but I, I, before you go, I can't let you go <laughs> without, you know, taking a few minutes, you know, share your social media. Yeah. I want to make sure, you know, please let us know if you need, what kind of support you need how we can help you. I want to please, I want you to take the time to really just go ahead and, and pour out and look, just ask for what you need. You know, <laughs> I can't say, I can't say it any plainer, you know, and I want to give you that time. Absolutely. So we can be found on all social media. Um, we're on, well, first of all, our website is www.pcosaa.org. Um, we're also on Instagram as PCOSAA. We're on Facebook as PCOS Awareness Association, um, LinkedIn PCOS Awareness Association. I haven't gotten that that uh, you know that TikTok. I can't bring myself to make TikTok I'm videos. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> so, a little out of my scope, but we are working on it. Um, we do have an ambassador program, so we're, we're working on um, having that um, available. And then um, 
yeah, what we need is we need support just in any aspect, whether it's like Dame, thank you. I appreciate you bringing me on and, and helping to raise awareness, whether it's for men or women. Um, also, of course, donations, <laughs> donations, like can't keep, I can't continue to do what we do without backing right because yeah. we also help fund the research of pcos and that's huge because a lot of there's there's not a lot of research happening about mm -hmm. pcos and there's literally a statistic out there saying government funding is at 0, 0.0 i think it's 0 0.02 percent directly for pcos so right. we have to fight for for the funds that we yeah. do get yeah. um just the love and support is very i, I love it <laughs> I love it. It helps so, me keep going, right? <laughs> and, and, that, and that's what it's all about. You know, that's what I'm here for. And it's it really sincerely um, my honor, my, my my privilege really to have you here. Um, like I said, getting to know you. And it wasn't really until, honestly, I think we were, we had went to a brunch. And mm -hmm. so when I first met your mom and your dad, <laughs> and um, I remember leaving and I saw your license plate. And I was saying to my wife, I'm like, no, seriously, it's just, just exactly how it happened. I remember saying to my wife, what is that? <laughs> and my wife is just like, look at that. She gives me like the screw face. And I was like, okay, never mind. And then, I had already tell I went down the wrong rabbit hole. I said, I'll go find out for myself. And I did. I, I really, I, I took some time, you know, over the course of the season, just, you know, get, you know, getting to see you a couple of more times and hanging out with you in different things, different events, um, and just really reading about you. It really, uh, one, your who you are is infectious. Um, I, I don't know anybody how they cannot like you. I, it's impossible, <laughs> right? It's the, to me, it's impossible. But then to find out more about the the journey uh, and the story, uh, I I was really, uh, you know, it was my pleasure to really reach out to you and have you come on. And I'm glad that you did. Uh, and I feel I feel like I know you even more. Um, <laughs> so continue success to you, sis. I mean that from the bottom Thank of my you. heart. My team, my family, everybody, you know, we love you and yours. And just look forward to you know, catching up again, you know, at, at the next event or the next mix or whatever is going on. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Plenty of hugs. <laughs> Plenty of hugs to you too. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, man. I can't tell you, this has been an amazing two-part conversation with the extraordinary Megan M. Stewart. Check her out. PCOS Awareness Month. You know, it's this month. It, it is September. Yes. You know, go out there and get your teal. I'm going out here and find me some teal. I'm going to rock me teal one of these days. Maybe. Right. Well, I, have I don't know. I well, got some Hey, look, and I got to get some from you. I got to get some from you. You know, now right. that I know, I got to get some from you. Um, but we're going to make it, sounds, it happen. Also sounds like you can be a, a man of teal. So I've got a man of teal short shirt for you as well. Right. Hey, look, whatever you need, I got you. I'm all, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm here for the support. Seriously. And, you know, Megan, take care. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great episode or great two-part episode. So whatever you do, you know, just be aware that, you know, there's others out here in our community, whether it be PCOS or something, you know, could be struggling with something that you're not aware of. Where about, you know, have a little more patience, have a little more empathy, mm -hmm. spread a little bit more love. And, you know, let's make this world a better place, not just for yourself, but for others. All right. And like we always do, ladies and gentlemen, you can follow Two Mics Up online, IG, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Two Mics Up. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you go ahead down there and hit that bell so you can be notified by the latest and greatest content coming to me, to you from here at Two Mics Up. And like we always do at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to actually do a couple of things for me. Okay. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Mike's out. <laughs>